Well, Seattle is about to experience a truly unique event. It's called 9E2, and here to talk about what it is and how it came about is the founder and creator, John Boylan. Also, two participating artists, filmmaker and photographer Daniel Thornton, and photographer and Microsoft researcher Neil Joshi. Hi, you guys. Hi. Great to see you. Thanks. All right, so 92, on, let's get historical for a moment. It's based on an event that happened in New York in 1966. Nine yes. evenings, theater and engineering. Yes. So give us the broad stroke of that original 1966 event. Okay, in 1966, the American painter Robert Rauschenberg got together with an engineer from Bell Labs, the huge research outfit mm -hmm. that, that the phone company had for decades, named Billy Kluver. And they produced an event called Nine Evenings Theater and Engineering, in which 10 artist performers got together with about 30 engineers and scientists to produce the first high-tech art of the time. Wow. The artists included Rauschenberg and also John Cage, uh, several of the, of the choreographer dancers from New York who have since become famous in the history of dance, Deborah Hay, Lucinda Child, and Yvonne Rayner. Uh, and the technology they used was infrared cameras and live on-stage video projections mm -hmm. FM transmitters, remote control platforms, massive switching systems. Uh, 10,000 people went through. It was a wild, crazy time. It's since become a legend in the history of art, of, of American art, and especially art and technology. All right, so that was 50 years ago, 1966. Now we're in 2016. So what can we expect to experience in 92 today? I suppose you could say more theater and engineering, but yeah. it's going to be the high tech of the 21st century. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have art driven by uh, virtual reality and augmented reality and Im immersion and big data and, uh, and, and Microsoft Connect and all kinds of the technologies that, that artists are working with now. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so Daniel and Neil, you have collaborated on an installation. It's, it's quite interesting, so tell us about what that is. Okay. All right, uh, so I've been working uh, with an artist based in Scotland for about three years uh, around uh, film and multimedia projects. And this artist is named Keith Salmon. He's based in Scotland, and he gets his inspiration from hill walking uh, hmm. uh, in the Scottish countryside, uh, and he paints landscapes. Um, the other thing about Keith Salmon is that he's significantly visually impaired. Mm -hmm. um, about a year ago, maybe a little bit more, um, I was invited to a demonstration at Microsoft for a new uh, technology and architecture about accessibility to visual art in mm -hmm. gallery and museum spaces. And uh, through that collaboration, I introduced Keith to Microsoft and I'm working with him, with, with, with all three, in producing this installation, which is going to be part of 92. Okay. And Neil can tell you a little bit about uh, the history of, uh, uh, of that particular technology. Yeah, so yeah, so tell me a little about that. And I want to hear about the way you guys collaborated and how sure. that's been for you. We worked on a system to provide audio interpretations for visual art. The idea was to create an experience where a person's distance to the work in front of them affected the audio mm -hmm. that they heard. Mm -hmm. So as they were further away, they would get a high level audio experience that kind of summarized the whole piece of work. Mm -hmm. As they got closer, they had an interactive experience where they could actually explore using your hand in front of you and hear different sounds that correspond to different parts of the work. Yeah. And we brought in some participants who were blind and low vision um, to try it and ask questions um, from them and got feedback. Back. Um, and then the, the whole idea was to actually use that to create work, to either augment existing work or ideally um, create a new piece right. with the idea of pairing the audio and the, the visuals. Mm -hmm. And so when I met Dan and, and learned about his his uh, experience in this space, it seemed like a really natural connection. And, and we, uh, we talked to Keith and, and basically kicked off this idea of building an installation for 92. What do you hope to happen after these nine days uh, with 92 to going forward? What, what might come out of it? That's a great question. 93, perhaps. No, it's, uh, <laughs> what I'm looking for is, is an investigation and, and a celebration of the interaction between art, science, and technology in Seattle, mm -hmm. uh, as well as, as looking at new ways of thinking about art, new ways of thinking about science and, te science and technology. Mm -hmm. Has your mind changed already? Uh, oh, uh, my mind changes all the time. <laughs> uh, uh, That's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Well, you guys, thank you so much for coming by. And 92 runs for nine days, October 21st through the 29th. And the full performance schedule is on their website. 
Well, you guys are brainiacs, so let's get back, get back together in 2066. We'll <laughs> okay, talk about good. the next round, okay? Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really nice to see you. Okay.